hello my dear viewers welcome back to ruhoni sewing welcome to part three of our series of the shifty dress with a keyhole neckline in this part i want to share with you the mistakes that i have observed when i was making this dress we were supposed there are things which we were supposed to consider when we were drafting the pattern okay so because we forgot to do that so we came up with these mistakes and i want to show you so that you can avoid them in the future so as usual these are the materials that we are going to use in this tutorial here we have our tape measure the pencil the tracing wheel we have the scissors for the paper here I have a piece of the pattern paper. We just need a very small piece of the pattern paper. I have a carbon paper as well as the patterns. So first thing first, let me share with you or show you the mistakes. This is our dress. It has already been made. And our first mistake is, is here. Let me take, uh, take the fabric closer. I hope you can see this is where we have the dart. Okay and you can see where the seam allowance the amount of fabric left to the seam allowance is not the same okay okay so our second mistake it is from the hem okay hope you can see so this is our back piece and that is our front piece as you can see they have different length the back is longer than the front okay so let us go back to the pattern and see where we made the mistakes so if you remember these are the patterns that we made we have that one for the front and this one is for the back and it was a one piece dress so we make it all the way up to the hem for our back and for our front okay okay so for this pattern it was a one piece uh, dress okay they from the shoulder all the way to the hem there was no joining at the waist or any other place okay it was just a one piece but again let me share with you this two piece dress pattern okay we have this back piece which we are going to to join it to the bottom piece at the waist okay and this is the uh, front piece which is also going to be joined to the bottom piece at the waist so just to remind you with this two piece dress it is not a must that it must be joined here at the waist it can be joined anywhere at the choice at the bust just anywhere okay okay so let us continue so when you take these pieces that is our back okay our back top piece and this is our back bottom piece this is our front top piece and this is our bottom front piece okay so when you are looking at these two pieces they have the same length i don't know if you can see well okay so, so starting from here at the waist up to the hem they are of the same length okay so when you take your top pieces this is our front okay and that is our back when you look at them they do not have the same length remember these are joined at the side seam okay so the moment you you made this that that's when the length are going to be the same okay because this is the part where we need a space for the boobs and so when you make the dart that's when the length the side seam of these two are going to be the same again these are going to be joined at the waist okay and for that matter when you're going to join them to the bottom part they are going to be of the same length okay i hope that concept is clear okay so with our pattern what i did i measured from the shoulder the whole length of the dress all the way to the hem the whole length but also for the back i measured the same length okay that i measured for the front from the shoulder all the way to the hem 
but one thing I forgot to consider was this dart. That with this dart, the side seam of the front will not be the same as that of the back. When we fold or when we make this dart, then the side seam of the front is going to be shorter when you compare to that one of the back. So let me show you what I mean. Here I have drawn the original dart. Okay, I hope you can see with the dotted lines up to the bust point. But our dart, as you can see, we measured from the bust point one and a half to avoid having a tip here at the bust point. Okay, and so that is our dart. Now, as usual, we are going to fold facing downwards. Okay. So I hope you can see from here. Let me move it a bit closer. Okay. Just like that. Hope here you can see. And now let us try to fold our dart. So here we are. We are folding our dart. We, are, we have to fold up to the other leg. This one here. Okay. So make sure you fold up to that line and then let me put a cello tape, okay? And let me show you now how it is going to be. Okay, so this is where our boob is going to be, okay? That's how it is supposed to be. And now look at the side seam of our front, this part here, okay? As you can see, you see that side seam they are not equal okay and that is what we have observed okay so now let us put it aside now let us now after making our dart let us now try to align the side seam okay this is where our sh our arm side is okay align our side seam from our arm side all the way to the hem okay you see now our back is longer than our front okay okay so i hope we have seen the mistakes that we made and so how are we going to rectify them okay so again with our pattern this was a one piece dress we do not have any joining anywhere it's just a one piece dress so we must always remember that from the shoulder to the waist that is a measurement that we always have okay and then we have the measurement from the shoulder to the hem that is the whole measurement so for this dress the whole measurement was 37 inches okay but the measurement from the shoulder to the waist is 16 and a half inches that is shoulder to waist and so from the whole length that is 37 you minus this distance from the shoulder to the waist so the difference here is 20.5 that's when you are going to measure from the waist up to the hem 20.5 now let us look at our back piece okay with our back piece you don't have to consider the shoulder to the waist measurement you don't have to but you need to consider the distance from the waist okay so from the waist here measure 20.5 the same distance as the one on the front piece that you are going to measure 20.5 okay but as you can see from here we had 23 inches and that's how our back piece is longer than our front so a reminder to us all when we are making a one piece dress if it has this that then please remember to do what i just did because the side seams are not going to be the same Okay, so to avoid this mistake, please always remember that. Okay, so um, let us start by tracing a new pattern. Uh, I've just traced it up to the hip. Just I want to show you 
the original pattern how it is and the side seam and that so we are going to start by attaching um, the pattern that piece to extend the part of the dart so now next we are going to fold our dart and this dart is going to face downwards okay and we also have to fold the center line because it is also going to be folded for the first leg to meet the other that leg okay next let us turn our pattern and now here we are folding the center line of the dart now that is our center line so after that take this that leg and make sure it aligns well with the other that leg okay it has a bit of a struggle but be patient and make sure it aligns well so after aligning the dart legs put a cello tape okay just like this so here i wanted to show you closely okay that the dart legs have met and put a cello tape to secure it in place and then after that you take your tracing wheel from that end you see the other line of the dart now trace it to meet the other part i hope this is understood okay just like that again the same step from far just to show you from the other part of the seam make sure now you trace facing make sure they see the i mean your tracing wheel goes along to meet the other part okay so here if you don't have a tracing wheel you can use a carbon paper and draw a line like just like we did with our tracing wheel so after that take out the tape i mean the masking tape and open the dart okay just like that i'm not so sure if you can see it very well but here you see the lines okay from the carbon paper as well as from the tracing wheel so now take your ruler and draw the lines follow the the marks that were made by the tracing wheel or the carbon paper so we are done we are going now to cut our dart okay so here we are done that's how our dart was supposed to be from the beginning before any modification again just to remind you you see this uneven side seams would have been avoided if we had trod our dart from the beginning so we have come to the end of our tutorial i believe we have learned one or two things from this uh, tutorial and i hope next time we are going to avoid these kinds of mistakes hope to see you again in my next video